Hello, welcome to the demonstration of my system, also known as the Storage Plan Analyzer. This is a system designed to store and analyze the past storage plan for each of the individual ships at different ports. With this data, we can discover new patterns or factors which can enhance the storage planning process. So th this is the main menu as you can see, nothing much, just including the functionality of the system. So in order to start first, we, we need to import some BAPD files. So we'll be using the BAPD translator. And uh, to import the BAPD file, we can use this browse function whereby you choose the file that you wanted to import. So for instance, I want to import this, which is in the EDI file format. So I click open. And so the user should be uh, should have some background knowledge about the BAPD file. So uh, he or she should know uh, what voyage number this BAPD file belongs to. So for instance, they know that it's 8, so they clean 8. And in this uh, example of this system, we will be only using departure files for the BAPD files as it varies in both uh, different formats. So we just use departure and we click on translate. So the system will uh, translate the contents of the BAPD file into readable data and store it into the database. As you can see, like 5,502 containers successfully uploaded into the database. So in order to view the storage plan, we can uh, either, you got two options to choose, which is sort by port or sort by voyage. So sort by port uh, basically just uh, uh, display all the ports that's available in the database and depends on what the user is looking for. Like for instance, I would like to view the port for Singapore. So you will like display all the ports that's inside the database for under Singapore. Alright, so to save time, I already uh, flood the database with uh, many other BAPD files as well. So for instance, I would like to view the storage plan for this specific storage plan. I just click on the display button and as a uh, view like this. So there's two different types of view for storage plan. There's a port view and there's a type view. So this in this format is a um, type view because um, uh, as you can see, there's like red colors and green colors. So uh, red color represents uh, 40 footer containers and the green color represents uh, 20 footer containers. So if you want to know more information about uh, each of the containers, basically just click on any one of them. And you can just see like, oh, at this location, uh, uh, this container is able to be discharged at this port and it's loaded from Singapore port and the weight and the attributes of the container itself and so on same for the others so we will move on to the port view so in port view uh, it, there will be more colors because uh, we we display the containers in terms of their port of discharge so as you can see for the legend here this color represents uh, this port and so on and so forth so for instance uh, this container you can see is red color so it will be discharged at uh, Dehan so I just click on this for more information, like uh, like likewise, and I see it's Deham, so yep, nothing wrong with it. All right, so moving on to the sort by voyage, uh, it's similar to the sort by port, just that it narrows down to the uh, voyage that the user is particularly interested in. So for instance, I just uh, just uploaded the web file for voyage number eight, so I just click on number eight. You will display a table of all the storage plan that is under the vo voyage number eight. So you can see there's a pattern here. Uh, why is it a voyage? Is because like for instance at uh, port uh, China Tao, it travels to China Yan Tian, and then China Yan Tian, you move on to Hong Kong, and from Hong Kong, it moves on to China Yan Tian again, and China Yan Tian, it moves on to Singapore, and Singapore finally moves on to EGSUZ. So this process from transit from ports to port, it forms a voyage itself. So for instance, I would like to um, view the the storage plan maybe for for this. I'll just click on any one of them, which one that the user is interested in the view. And the rest will be the same as the uh, sort by port. All right. So without further ado, we will move on to the main part of the system, which is the data analysis. So in this section, we only focus on one uh, class of the vessel, which is the lar largest vessels that in the NOL. 
Uh, there are several other smaller vessels as well, but my focus is just on the bigger, the biggest vessel. So once click on the vessel, select the uh, class selected. You can choose like uh, which uh, of the section of the ports that you would like to view the history of. So for instance, I would like to view the history of the transit between like uh, China Yantian to Singapore. Uh, just click on the submit button. All right. Uh, for this part, this section will take quite a while to load, like around approximately of one minute uh, or so to load because there's a lot of queries as being executed and lots of data being extracted from the database for checks. So I'll just uh, fast forward. So this is the uh, expected outcome of uh, after clicking the submit button as shown previously. So these are all the um, past history of the storage plan from Yen Tian to Singapore. Yep, as you can see here. Right, so all this, uh, this storage plan just basically represents the past history of the transit between China and Tian to Singapore. So uh, if you want more, more information, like for example, I just click on any of the container. It will show the past history of uh, what kind of containers is being stored in this current position. So for instance, I click on this location. So in the past history of the all the con, uh, trans all the storage plan that transit from Yantian to Singapore, the 66.7% of the time uh, it is stored uh, port of discharge at Singapore in this location, and 33.3% there will be discharge at LN NLRTM. So same for the others. If you want to know more, you can just click on any one of them. So uh, there's this function called the calculate function. Uh, once I click on it, it will calculate the total amount of moves needed to unload all the ports that are supposed to be discharged at the specific port and load all the containers that are supposed to be load, loaded at that specific port. So once click, the system will do all the calculations and display the, the stats. Alright, so here you see there's a calculation page and these are total moves made at that specific port. Uh, sorry, the storage plan. So these are the total amount of moves made to uh, unload all the containers that are supposed to be discharged at this specific port and the amount of uh, rehanded moves that's being taken uh, and the total amount of uh, moves made to load the port, uh, load the containers on board the, the vessels. And distribute it to across other ports and the total amount of move that has been made for hatch to remove the containers below at the lower deck of the vessel right so to know uh, to make it for easier view you can click on this display move distribution button which will display out a chart of the distribution across all the bays like what kind of moves has been made in each of the bay so for instance here will be the moves for loaded so only containers has been loaded at this bay and for this is only uh, moves for loaded and discharge has been, uh, has been made and for here and so on and so forth you can mouse over to see the exact values of each of the of the legend here all right so now for the number of crane um, in this section we will calculate the uh, crane <coughs> intensity so for instance the user might know that oh at this uh, current port there will be <coughs> there will be four crane so the you input like four and you click on the calculate crane workload so the system will calculate the 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 crane intensity for each of the crane that has been allocated which is four cranes and it will take some time to calculate as well so uh, the system will, I'm using an algorithm that will uh, split the total amount of moves e almost uh, equally as equal, equally as possible across all the cranes that has been inserted. So for in this example, there's 2,755 moves in total. So I key in like four cranes, I can see one, two, three, and four. And uh, so the system actually calculated that the crane number one will be in charge of bay number one to 19 with a total of 865 moves, which is 17.46% of the total move, which is um, close to like 25% supposedly if I divide by four of 100%. So the crane intensity efficiency is 3.18497 which is uh, lower than the others because uh, it, it just uh, made the more moves compared to others and so on and so forth and the time taken uh, to finish all this move is being calculated as well. So you can click on the crane allocation graph and then you can see the distribution of all the moves across the four cranes as a one, two, three, four, and the total number of moves being made and the average moves uh, across 
as in the average move of the total move. Supposedly the the two thousand seven hundred fifty five divided by four will be six eight eight point seven five. So the if all the bars here is uh, close closer to this line over here, it will be the best scenario. All right, that's all. Thank you.